Yo, youtube.com slash C slash Cardinals Black. You guys are in the right place because we are about to do our next drill tutorial. So um, I'm going to go through, obviously, the soft limiter, uh, how that works and trying to explain that to you guys because uh, a lot of people just shove stuff onto their channel racks and don't understand right, like quite exactly what their effects are doing. Um, shout out to Shotty the producer, you know what, because he's gay. These are some of his tips that I'm going to be going over to and I'm going to be explaining and tying into my own beat. You get me? Um, Shotty's like a new producer that's on YouTube. He's got to serve like a couple of, like maybe a thousand or so subscribers. But yo, this guy, his beats are as close, the closest I've ever heard to an actual 808 mellow beat without it being 808 mellow. So I've got to do big congratulations to him. He's doing really well with some of his beats. Um, so yeah. I'll put a link to his channel in the subscription anyway, because I'm giving him a big shout. Um, and obviously, big shout outs to you know all the family, you know, Big Q, Sketch, and all the other people that made this all this what we're doing here possible. You know, what I'm trying to say uh, we're going to be linking up with them man soon. Jay Wesley, I see you, family. You know, what I mean that this is what this is. These are the people who made us who we are today. These are the people who I'm doing this for as well, so they can see just how it goes down. You know, behind the behind the map book. So obviously, you are going to need plenty of sample packs. Like me, I've got loads here, but you can find Dre's drill archives on the internet. Just search help on Reddit, just download it, and then you'll have everything you ever need to make drill. Uh, so what are we doing today? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Because I keep doing mellow type beats, innit? But uh, maybe we'll do like... Uh, I was thinking maybe a, like a... Maybe a Dutch type beat. I don't know. I'm not too sure what I want to do today. Not, you know what? Yeah. Because I did, oh yeah, I remember now. I was going to do a ghosty type beat video. That's what I was going to do. Uh, now what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to do a hybrid. I'm not just going to do just ghosty. I'll, I'll add a bit of, a, you know, like 808 Meadow sort of sort of stuff and axle beats and all that. So you know what? We'll go to Axel's pack to look for some sample. We'll just use one of these gentle hats, man. I like my gentle hats, man. I like my gentle hats. Um, uh, what, what's the drum pattern we're going to do? So we're going to do a ghosty type drum pattern. Then we're going to use like a... Uh, 808 Mellow, Rico Beats, Axle Beats, kind of drums, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I guess we'll do that, we're gonna, we're gonna blend it, because I can make a song sound just like Ghosty, but it'd just be terribly boring, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, let's have a look here. Uh, snare. No, we're not using any of those. Um, X10, oh yeah. Galaxy, yeah, we're using Galaxy 808. We'll do it in the ghosty drum pattern, so... Is it looping? Yeah, turn that off, man. What's taking so long there? Oh, it's still doing it. Oh, you know what you need to do? Just fade out of here. Tools, fade out. Yeah, that's much better, I think. Still cooking. Oh, I know what it is, guys. My bad. You know, if you hear like a, like a little click in there, look at your EQ, and you'll notice that it's actually a bass bassy sort of thing and you just bypass it job done just something to teach you guys there if you ever having a sample that you quite like and you want to use it but you've got like a little click in there just shove a high pass filter on it doesn't need to be fab filter you know in in uh, what do you call it parametric eq we'll do the same thing here i just never use this eq because it's just what everyone else is using we'll go to high pass or the steep eight but that's not very professional you know what i mean steep eight we don't really have that stuff it, you see how you have steep eight, steep four, gentle four, and all that shit. In a proper EQ, you have 12 dB octave, 8 dB octave, 12, 24 dB, and the higher you go, the sharper the curve. You see, it's almost like a brick wall there. The brick wall is the last one, which is like just too harsh. You want your 12 dB on there. All right. Parametric EQ is just like a baby version of an EQ. You don't want to use in that nonsense. So if, let's say we turn off my EQ now. And the click is back. You can see that's where the click is resonating down here. So we put a high pass filter on and we subtract that and now it's gone. But I prefer the sound of my EQ anyway. It's just nicer. 
I can already just feel it. When, when you've been producing for years, you just know. Uh, I'm using Galaxy 808. Uh, it's a very good 808. I really like it. In fact, I'm, I don't know where my keyboard is. Let me just plug it in real quick. All well, these hats are all right, you know. X10's, X10's got some good hats, you know. Yo, all right. Okay, so what we do here is we add extra high hats in like that and just bring the velocity down. And then what we'll do here is we'll do like a nice little roll here. Oh, that's the snare, isn't it? My bad, my bad. No, 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 none of that. So. Computer's got my its own today. Um, no, we were just going to do quarter steps, weren't we? And then we was. Yeah, 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 but we might just add a bit more in. And do. We can do a sweep. And then we'll remove that hi hat. Like that. I don't like this snare anymore, you know, I fell out with it. Nah, I'm not really feeling them. Use that one, man. Yeah, it's better. I was going to go over the kick, and I'm going to do that in a second once I've just laid it out. I need to write a melody as well. Give me a second, guys. I'll find something real quick and massive. So, what key are we going to choose today? Uh, we're going to need a minor. We'll do D minor, D, D melodic minor. So it'll be like, yeah, we'll have that as like, have that as our starting chord. D, D minor, D minor triad. Get in there guys, just bear with me. I haven't used FL in about a few weeks. So, and then, um, I'm happy with that, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there's way too much going on. So, turn the release down. Turn the reverb size down. to have it loud loud so we'll just filter it filter it 24 db this is called the resonance that down Recording anything else, thank you. Quick quantize start times. And then so it'll be like this. Since the professional. No, no, that's too much. That's too much, man. Uh, Fab filter, satin, satin. Where are you? That's what I mean, man. But where is it? It's around here somewhere. In distortion, up there. Satin, satin, satin. Uh, da, 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 da. Color. Saturating color. I'll do is my sample man and then you need some a bit more dark going on underneath man you need some like like a cello or something like that that's like really low and that's how I, that's how I get my melody together man you get me Uh, 
and then obviously you mix it like this. You mix that in with this. So it becomes one instrument sort of thing. You could also, could also send that to a compressor, so we'll do that for the sake of this video. So in Fruity Loops to make a send, I don't know if any of you producers know this because you, you probably don't, but what you do is you go to Dock 2, right, now it's docked over here as a send. Uh, send is basically a, it's like you're routing it, you're routing it to a channel before it routes to your master channel. If you can't understand that, then you need to get in your books. Uh, right click this, route to this track only. So we're sending the outputs of this track and that track to this track. And this is going over to the master, as you can see over here. So they're both coming through here. Oh, yeah, I've got to turn them on, obviously. They're going through there. They're not going straight to the master like all these other tracks are. And now we can add our compressor to it if we want to. Um, we're not using that. We're using C2. Turn off auto gain immediately. Um, so compression can start at about here. Just set it to two. Long attack um, and a long release. And um, we could turn some of the dry gain up. We want to press with the wet gain, that's our makeup gain. And these are strings, we can just set it to a soft knee. And they're gonna sound they're gonna sound more compressed now. They're gonna sound more glued together as a sound. That's what we want. So we've just made a new sound now. Okay guys. Way better now. And now we're gonna still look for that cello because I was looking for a cello or some sort of string that's like a bowed instrument that's like really low. That's what we're looking for right now, man. Come on, people. And I haven't got onto the kick drums yet. We'll get onto that. Don't worry, guys, it's coming. We're making a whole beat here. You get me? I want you guys to just be in the full experience this time. We're getting into it this time. No cap. Cello. Righty, righty. Let's have a look for one. No, man, down here. String. Let's have a look. Right. Yeah, I like that shit, man. I really like that shit. That, that, that is what I like. All right, so we'll just go. Because what we'd want to do is make the nicest, like, like we want to add harmonies by creating different notes. So, like our root chords right now. If you look on here, D, F, A. Those are our root chords, and then C, C sharp, E, natural E, and then natural G. Right. So those are our root chords. We're rolling with that, okay. Um, so let's say everything else is playing D. We could just play like that, and we're gonna play them down here. You damn well know we're gonna do that right now. So we're gonna just play, oh, hang on. Well, what I'll do is I'll just copy the melody from here because uh, it's saved me writing it up again. I'm a bit lazy today. Um, and then take out all the other notes. As you can see, F and E are in those triads. And we've, we're messing around with those. Even lower. Woo! We could bring that cello up just a little bit more. That'd be nice, man. That's more of the cello. That's more like it for me. Get that on track 10. But you know what we could do? It does sound nice. I was thinking maybe make the cello have a longer attack. It is sounding a little bit muddy, and that's where we're going to get EQing in. So, there's a lot of bass down here, but we're going to let the 808 fill that space, so we're going to put that on like a 24 dB, cut it at, no, no, about 80 hertz. Have a listen closely. Let's solo this track and have a listen to what we're really doing. All right, let's listen. It's called the uh, Audition. This red button here lets you hear exactly what you're working with. I reckon I want those up. And then we can take some of these. 
focus on these frequencies here, boost them. Anyone ever heard that in drill? That's how they do it. Just put a bell frequency on it and automate it. Uh, I'm happy with them frequencies. We'll just uh, we'll leave them there, man. But now, but we're going to pull this down in the mix because it's overpowering all the others. If you look at the levels, it's overpowering us. We're bringing it down now. It will do, man. It will do. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Obviously, the strings are a bit loud. Just bring them down a bit. All right, then. Back to the drums. Let's have a listen. We'll separate the snare and put it on its own pattern so we can put that in when we're ready to. It's a nice snare as well. I kind of like it, even though it in the... I know my friend Silo wouldn't really be happy with that snare, but... But he's never happy with any snares. So we're just going to go in, move the melody down. <clears throat> So we've got that together and now we're going to get this magic 808 in place so um it's my favorite one my favorite 808 right now is galaxy it's perfect it's the 808 i've been looking for for a long time that's a little click going on but i'm all right with that we're going to just going to just going to get it mapped properly first add a little bit of that there you go Get it louder. That's it. Nice and loud, like where, like where it is right now. So, um, it's not mapped. I forgot, guys. It's it's uh, on an F note. Remember to do that, guys. Always make sure your A to eight is on the correct note. To check this, go to Edit in Audio Editor, select this button and go to Detect Pitch Regions. That tells you what note this, this sample is playing at. That's our F note. So what you've got to do is go to your keyboard. That's an F note there. So you right click it. It will be on C as standard. You make sure you do that. Right click it to F. A lot of producers just miss that. And they end up writing their songs, pressing the wrong keys. And then with their other instruments, they're pressing the right keys. And then their, their songs are just jumbled up and it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you don't just do that. That saves you how much headache that you're going to have to correct later on. Once you get the pitch right, you're perfect then. So now it's in key. You'll have a listen. It needs to be longer, obviously. Um, should we do like a longer intro? Yeah, we'll do a longer intro, man. We'll do a longer intro, do a full length. I haven't really used one of these. Uh, I haven't really done a song like this in a while. Believe it or not, I've just been a bit lazy recently. Ooh, man, I'm feeling that 8 to already. We haven't even done the kick yet. And now this is where the magic comes in. You can write your kick pattern, right? That's your kick, right? Make sure it's normalized. Make sure it's at full volume. Are you like gonna think my kick's not like real soft in that man? But you haven't even seen the rest of it yet, guys. First of all, before I mess with the kick any longer, I wanna just mix this real quickly because it's not mixed properly. I might turn normalize off now. And I go to here. Yeah. Don't turn normalize on then guys. You don't need to put clip on. You just need to put boost on and let it let it go over and what that will do is it will bring the volume of your kick up like right, really really high but it's like an inbuilt like can would you call it it's an inbuilt distortion that comes with fruity loops but what you do now is you go to your master now because if you listen 
That's overpowering everything in the mix. What you do is you go to soft clipper and what this does is literally makes a soft clip. The threshold is at minus four dB. So our kick is coming in at well, well over zero dB, but it's gonna clip from here and soften it. And as you can see on the master, softening it, it's softening the blow. And all you do is just turn it down a little. Like that. So as you can see, it's punching here. And then let's put on the 808. Where's the 808? I'm going to teach you guys some mixing techniques. I'm sure I've done it on other videos anyway, the side chaining. So, as you can see, around um, the kick is at about like near 100 hertz. So we can go to frequency of 100 hertz and then we can squeeze that, bring it down. And we'll put a dynamic effect on there, right? Now, around there, we're taking that out, but on the kick, we're gonna boost it, which you don't really wanna do with how loud it is, but we're doing it anyway, because that's, that's how you do it professionally. DJ Q taught this effect on one of his songs, bassline song, obviously. So now this is punching through at 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to clean the kick up too because I didn't even do that, you know. We're going to go, okay, low cut. And this time I'm going to go to about 48 dB. Slap that on and we're going to go to about... Um, I'm going to 50 hertz this time, you know. Because here what? Drill, drill kicks don't need to be that, that bassy. Your 808 is doing that shit, man. Literally. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Boost that man. What we want, man, we want to hear that stuff, man. Can I put a sound good? Like? I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna try this on the kick because I know that the, the master can have it and the kick can have it too. Oh, yeah, that's way better now. Yeah, way better, way better. I don't know why I didn't do that before, man. That's it, there you go, there you go. All right, guys, make sure you put it on the, on the actual kick if you're having trouble. Take it off of the area as well, man. vocal sample tech pitch f note of course so make sure afterwards guys alt click to reset all your velocity stuff otherwise you're going to be writing stuff in the wrong velocity afterwards just remember that fruit doesn't reset it automatically any flipping FX man, give me some FX man. Yeah, I'll do that man, I'll do that, I'll do that.
away from here. Right, we're working over here, I don't know the base. Try and try find an organ. Try and find an organ. Yeah, sound better. Yeah, that sounds more like it, man. That's an easy man. All right, here we go, guys. Pretty much done now. For now, it? I'd, I'd obviously had a lot more than this, but that's the foundation. That's what that's what the instruments would be in the song. You know what I mean? Now it's frozen. Oh, there you go, it's done. There we are, guys. So, we're gonna recap the stuff that I've taught you guys when it's ready to let me use the, that's what I mean. It's, for, it's saving again, I don't get it, man. Oh. Right, I don't understand why it's taking so long, even though I've got an SSD. Um, right, so, we're gonna recap. Kick drum. To boost your sound of your kick drum, you go to pre-computed effects and turn the boost up. Make sure you've got normalized selected to off over here. You don't want it on, otherwise it will mess with it. Okay, uh, then you put a soft clipper on your, click, your kick channel if you don't want it to affect the whole of your master. You set your threshold to where it will be clipping. I've set mine to clip at about five. I could always turn it down. Always turn it down a bit more. You want it, in, you want it within the green range wherever it's going to be going and then that's just how much it's going to reduce it by okay um hi-hats uh hi-hats have a list of the hi-hats before the flanger with the flanger so before with it engaged now sounds much smoother more mellowy so yeah this was going to be a ghosty type Song, but I'm not even in the mood for it, so I thought, you know what, we'll hit you guys in another 808 mellow type thing. But I'm just showing you how it gets put in action in other songs, you get me? Because uh, Shot is the one who brought this one up, so I've got to credit him for these tips, you get me? Even though that like this has been used by loads of producers anyway, a lot of producers already do know this, but a lot of you guys don't. That's why I've come on here to show you how it gets put in action. This is how it changes the way your song sounds. Okay, um, and then what else was I teaching again? Oh, just basic stuff like with that flipping, with our hi-hat, you know, before we had that EQ on, it sounded like this. There was clicks going on and then we put it on, the clicks are gone. By putting the high-pass filter, you're getting rid of all of these clicks that are down here in that corner. Down the low end of the EQ spectrum. And that's about it. I would add more to the song and I will do in the future, just that I, for the sake of time, I'm just leaving it at this, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed that drill tutorial. Opening up your eyes as to how you can, you know, you don't have to rely on the samples, man. You can still make a good beat just out of, you know, chords, notes, melodies. So yeah, guys, that was Cardinus Black showing you how to produce a UK dual beat similar to 808 Mellow and many other producers. So if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe because you know what's about to happen. It's about to get crazy on the channel once we drop more content. You know what I'm trying to say guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you watch this far. A bit of a long one. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. Yeah, I've been on for just over an hour. <laughs> so it's been a bit of a mad journey, people. It's been a mad journey. And we're just, we're just spicing it up right now. We're coming up to Christmas holidays, man. So happy holidays, everybody. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, make sure you add the Snapchat ST underscore YKZA. That's ST underscore YKZA. All right, man. And make sure you check out what on my other beats on newbreed.bandcamp.com. That's our um, record label page. Me and Shapeshifter and Uzi. Big shout out to those guys at the New Breed um, Base Assassins, me and Shapey, of course. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do a big shout out for you, them guys, especially Shapey. I know you're trying to get your, your stuff together with the music and that. And I'm always going to make time for you, dog. <clears throat> So yeah, that's another. That's been another drill tutorial for you guys. Um, and if you guys are interested in um, watching me produce some drum and bass and all that stuff, I, I'm happy to do some of that. But I'm no genius when it comes to drum and bass. But I'm a lot more cl clued up on teaching drill stuff. You know what I'm saying? And just showing you guys how it's done. Really, it's just arrangement, man. It's, it's not. It's not a lot that you have to do to make a song in drill. There's not much to teach other than you know a little bit. I do need to go into Slice X, learning how to do that, and you know 
making those mellow type samples and stuff but i was trying to do it here manually using you know the strings and using those those cellos over here you get me i was doing that manually i was just trying to show you guys this is another way around it i'm trying to teach you guys stop going to samples so much Stop. I know I know I'm being a bit hypocr hypocritical because my last beat was sample my last two were sample based but that's why I've put them on my channel because the sample based because they're not my own work this is my own work I wouldn't put this on my channel because this is my own work you get me you can get it teeth off of some Australian drill rappers you know what I mean and they sound awful by the way Ghanaian the Ghanaian drill pisses all over them all day but yeah enough said guys that's been Carnus Black and thanks for watching this video let's get it baby we outside Shouts to all the peoples, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's go.